guys, it's your girl Reese from the 813. So my mother-in-law said on Wednesday night, since she found out we was coming down tomorrow, she wanted her pineapple cake. So today I'm going to make you a homemade pineapple cake from scratch. So you want to get that dull crushed pineapple? You want to go ahead and make sure you drain everything. You don't have no juices. And then you want to measure out one cup of the pineapples before you even get started. Because, you know, guys, you want everything to be good. So, now make sure you need enough pineapples for your icing. And I'm going to walk you through that. So, now, first step is we're going to pour our. Flour. Our two and a half cups, here we go, our two and a half cups of sugar. And we're going to mix that, guys, with three sticks of butter. So you want your butter to sit out and you want it to be room temperature. This is my favorite thing to do, I love baking. Now your girl was like, <clears throat> you making two cakes? No, not this time. Normally when I make cakes, I make two cakes, but this time I'm just making one. We're on a diet. We're trying to get sexy for that ATL. Yeesh. Plus the kids gonna be gone. Who's gonna eat the cake? All right, so you're gonna mix this three sticks of soft butter with your sugar until it gets nice and creamy. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a moment. Alright guys, alright so while the butter and the sugar is beating get nice and creamy, you're going to add in your one cup of pineapple. Make sure you get all that pineapple out of there. No pineapples left behind. You want everything to mix up good together. And then you're also going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like to use the Watkins. Some people like McCormick, but it's going to be one teaspoon. I take one now, but a teaspoon of your vanilla extract. So you just saw me do it twice, that's because I only had my half a teaspoon. I don't know what happened to the full teaspoon. But you're going to mix that up real nice and pretty light. And then you always want to scrape it, scrape the side so all that sugar can get blended up, guys. I want to show you here how it's supposed to look before you start to add the eggs. guys see how that's getting creamy yes you want that to be nice and smooth and creamy that means everything has blended in the sugar the vanilla the butter and the pineapples so now we're going to add five eggs one at a time I like to use the brown eggs some people use white eggs brown eggs are better for cakes And I like to, when I crack them, I don't want to crack it over the um, bowl. I always put it in another device. That way, if I get eggshells in there, guess what? I'm good. So while this is doing this thing, one egg at a time, I'm going to take my three cups of flour, all purpose, with one teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm going to sift it. Now this always makes your cake rise beautifully. So, 
you can see, I'm sifting it into another bowl. All right, let's add another egg. This cake gonna be good, guys. I'm telling you. And then the two eggs, three more to go. Just a little more to get all this flour. Sift it greatly. My grandmother used to have one of those old-fashioned sifters for sure. I can't seem to find those, so I'll just use a strainer. It just works just as well. Before we put our third egg in, we're going to stop and we're going to go ahead and put all this down here. We want to make sure this is getting mixed up good. You'll catch me back when I'm putting the flour. Alright guys, so now that I started adding the flour to it, just add gradually add it in there. Oh yeah, just gradually adding it in there. Gradually. Can I see that? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there we go. Just gradually adding it in there. See, making that cake dough batter. Oh, I love. I like cake batter too. I'm like a little kid, I can eat that all day. Oops. Oops, guys. So now, here's the final product, guys. I want you guys to see this. I want you to see this final product. Like, boom. All the mixing is done. Batter is mixed up real good. I'm going to put it in a nine inch, yes, right here, nine inch cake pan. So it's gonna be three layers, but I only have two nine inch pans, so that's okay. We're gonna hit it up. So guys, I got the batter in the pan. So to make sure that it gets even at this first, you wanna Give it a little twist and drop it around so your batter can be even in your pan. Now I'm going to put these babies in the oven at 325 degrees. And that's going to be for like, hmm, let me say roughly an hour. So we will be. Alright, guys, the first two layers are out. Ooh, we can't wait to put that icing on it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're making the icing for the cake. You need two packs of Philadelphia cream cheese with two cups of the powdered sugar, the white powdered sugar, guys. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of pineapples. Alright, so now it's time to ice the baby. Yes, baby. Put some little icing on here. All my little cake stuff <clears throat> cool down. You want the cake to be cool, but you don't want the icing to help. Do something different this time. <clears throat> Just chill.
Cheers. Final product. Y'all, y'all girl. Y'all girl wants a cake. So I'm going to have to make one when we come back from Miami for her. She's so spoiled. Just spoiled. She's seen her Whatever. bottom lip. Just seen that bottom lip. Whatever. That's mommy's cake. <clears throat> Alright, babe. I want mine with the normal way. I don't want mine to stay at the... Go ahead and sign out, honey. All right, guys. So, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, turn on those notifications. Because guess what? I promise you, it'll never be a dull moment. Never be a dull moment. Thank you for being a friend.